right guys as you can see I've purified the terrain tiles around my city and if we look uh, I've got these guys working right now so I'm not producing any food but if I go to farming I am uh, producing more food now um, I set up near void channels you don't ever want to do that I was just trying to, to show you real quick that you could set up a town and purify the tiles if you're playing the unhallowed you have to do the opposite. You have to go through the planes corrupting tiles to make your cities, uh, you know, usable. And so there really is a struggle against the living and the dead. Uh, you know, if you're if you're living, you're going to be purifying. If you're if you're playing the unhallowed, you're going to be corrupting. You just need to keep that in mind. Uh, now we're going to go back to the main map. I'm going to show you just to kind of show you. And almost this city is not completed. It's just sort of almost completed. Okay, um, we've got a majority of the buildings. I could have built them all, um, but like I said, this is just for the tutorial video, and I didn't really need a wizard's guild uh, right now. I just wanted to get up to where I could train the really higher tier units, like pikemen, which I've got in my current army. I mean, you can see they're hard hitting. They have a pretty good armor class. Uh, catapult, I needed to uh, attack the walled city, and I've got paladins, which you've already seen. But uh, you know, if we were on a uh, coastal tile, we could have built a shipyard and built some ships. Um, Another thing I needed to mention was roads. Um, they speed up travel, obviously, and they smooth things out. Like if you're going through swamps or something like that, and there's a road, it always takes the same amount of movement. So you want to build engineers. Uh, most of the races have some sort of engineering unit that can build roads. Uh, you know, you'll want to do that, uh, potentially anyway. We're going to attack a walled city to, to wrap this up, just to kind of show you what it's like when you're facing a city that's got walls. I have built quite an army here. She has got quite an army in there. Uh, fortunately, the, the AI is, is kind of turned down as low. Not kind of. It is turned down as low as you can get. I didn't want to be struggling against the AI while I was doing these tutorial videos. And so I turned it down to very, very simple. Uh, that's not to say the AI is bad. It's just really easy. So uh, when you see what it's doing here, uh, remember this is on the easiest setting. Um, so keep that in mind. Uh, either way, I think, we can, I think we can beat her. She's got some good units in here. But I've got more magic and um, I've got better units. Uh, and remember, one of the things with Planar Conquest is it really is... Um, I'm leaving this place for my pikemen. Pikemen are crazy slow. Um, the guy that brings the most bat magic to the battlefield usually wins. Okay, not always. But, uh, and I shouldn't say usually wins. What I'm saying is... You, the more magic you bring to the battle, you know, the higher the advantage, okay? One of the ways to do that that I have not done for these videos is to really trick your heroes out. I knew they were going to eat my archers. Really trick your uh, your heroes out in artifacts because what that is is that's, that's mana you've spent in the past that you can bring into a battle that goes beyond your cap as defined by your spellcraft level. So, okay, it, it's basically, you know, you are spending mana on a battle before you get into it. And so that makes a huge difference. Uh, I mean, most of you probably probably played uh, games of this type before, and you, you definitely understand that. Uh, but it's... Magic is a big, big thing in Planner Conquest, and you want to bring as much as you can to the battlefield. I have not done that, uh, but like I said, I'm just, I'm making tutorial videos, and so, um, you know, it was not such a, such a big deal for me. Okay, we're about, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to try and knock down the, the door with the catapult. Uh, it's got 30 hit, I'm probably not going to get it in one hit, but we'll see. It's possible, but no, we didn't do it. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and move my pikemen up. Like I said, you can see they're just abysmally slow. Their, their armor is heavy. And we'll go ahead and just, you know, we're getting in a position to run into that city. Now, being a, I chose to do this as a life master. Just that's, that's what I often play uh, personally. So I don't have giant explode the enemy spells uh, like you would have if you were playing fire or... You know, really, uh, any any of the elemental masters you get, uh, you know, with the exception of life, you get some giant death spells. Not that life doesn't have its damaging spells, but, you know, like, I've got regeneration in my pocket. Um, eh, I'm not going to cast it on that archer because he's so close to dead. Uh, I could cast mass, he mass healing, which I may do before this battle is over. You know, I've got some good spells, it's just I don't have a lot of direct damage spells. I will, you know, we'll do shooting stars, one boost. 
uh, 7 D10. Actually, I'm not even going to do that. I'm just going to do the 6 D10 and try and blast one of these uh, Arachnomancers because I don't like them casting on me. And oh, I, I guess I should have spent the extra. Let's see if we can't push her over the edge. Yeah, they've got very high decks. Uh, or, well, they're hard to hit um, if we look at them. Their armor class is 14. I, I guess you just got lucky. Oh, it's part of it is the range. Sorry. I, I get into the playing the game and forget to explain the game. Yeah, the, they've got a range penalty. And so even though their armor class is low, I missed. And I didn't think about that before I shot, believe it or not. I'm focusing on showing you what I need to show you. I honestly uh, often play better than this. Uh, Alright. And they may pour through that door just to try to bring the battle to me. Uh, I wouldn't. In my mind, they've they've got the range advantage. Of course, on the other hand, they, I'm going to knock down that gate this turn. And so, if they can clog it up with um, the thralls, which are basically their disposable units, uh, which may be what they're trying to do, <clears throat> I can't just run through them. And so, even if I knock down the gate, I can't bring all my forces to bear uh, unless things like that happen. So, we'll see. You're not going to take my catapults out that way. And this is actually, um, you know, we've got a lot of units in this battle, but this is not that high tier of battle. Um, when you get facing things like Titans and things like that, it, it gets even crazier. But this is a getting started video where we show you how to get started. All right, I don't. I'm trying to think how best to bring my. You don't want to pass through an occupied space because if you do that, you'll get um, they'll get attacks of opportunity on you. So you want to prevent that as much as possible. And even though I moved three there, it was a charge because it was uninterrupted. Wow, they actually managed to do more damage on me than I did to them. Okay, that's all right. I might as well go ahead. And I'm I'm moving the cavalry cavalry in just because they're it'll be quicker to get them out of the way. Jeez. Uh, my luck needs to turn around, I tell you that. Alright. I wonder if I can polish them off and get them out of the way. Oh, come on. Yeah, um. They've got spell resistance. So that was just kind of bad luck, too. All right, um, yeah, they, have, they actually managed to get me jammed up in the door. Okay, well, we'll just move our pikemen up a little bit. Um, and then we'll end the turn. And depending on how, this long, how long this goes, guys, I may just wrap it up here. Like I said, I don't have any impressive super deadly spells. Might need more about keeping guys alive, which I'm obviously failing to do here. Um, you know, I probably should have put regeneration on some of my paladin. Uh, the paladin can heal each other and things like that. Um, I've definitely got this battle, but, uh, actually I do want to show you victory. I can't believe I lost a group of paladin. That, that, uh, that was just partially bad luck, so. There we go. We're going to open up this hole and get more of our forces into play here in just a second. Shoot my catapults all you want. They've done what they had to do for king and country. All right, let's see here. I'm going to move them up, but I'm not going to attack yet. Let's uh, use some of that life magic. All right, now that I've got a 
a four-man squad again. We're going to move up here. We're going to try and clear these guys out. You have got to be kidding me. Okay. The reason I attacked that group, if I moved from there, they would get an attack of opportunity. And if I can clear them out, I can move this guy up. And then back attack those guys, which I mean I don't get a backstab, but you see what I'm saying. Flank them either way. Okay. Um oh jeez. Do I not okay, I can't get through my own guys. Alright, we'll move up. I just didn't. I have not yet opened the hole enough. And these guys can move up too, why not? And actually let me Okay. Well, we'll let him go. not going as well as I hoped it would. I'll give you that. So, mainly the spells cast by those Arachnomancers are nasty. Alright, I think I'm going to put Regeneration on these Paladin and beef them up. For one thing, it'll just show you one of the, the higher level spells. Um, we're going to get him out of the way. Oh, jeez, that was a mistake. That That's what I was talking about. You've got to constantly watch uh, threatened areas, but he's going to cast heal on himself and because I don't want him to die. I don't want to waste regeneration on a guy that's going to die, but I want you to see it. All right, and then what we're going to do is rather than just letting him, you know, drop dead, we're going to go up there and heal him with these guys too. All right, in case you can't tell, I really like the whole healing element. Okay, these guys are injured. We're going to get them out of the way. Those guys won't be able to attack. Let me... Alright. I'm going to try and get all my forces in here as much as possible. Okay, let me... These guys are fairly wounded too. Okay, hold on. Let's just... And get everybody else kind of moved in. <clears throat> All right, let's see here. Finally, begin to wonder if those guys could hit anybody. Yeah, they're done now. They're they're they finally run themselves out of mana and are coming into um melee range, obviously, and that they're done. And it's good whenever possible. Uh, it, it, you want to, uh, you know, keep your guys from dying. They, they gain experience, and it, you know, it, that really matters in the long run. Keeping your guys alive. It's not just a matter of hey, I don't want my guys getting killed. You know, they're gaining experience. They're getting better and better. <clears throat> and so, they're either at a point where they can gain experience, and so you don't want them to die, or their max level and you really don't want them to die I'm just gonna move these guys no these guys up one alright this guy's got regeneration on him but I'm not I'm gonna heal him again and let's see just give them a taste if we can um, am I out of ammo Okay. 
Well, no, I got. Okay. Yeah, that's a good target. Except I missed. Okay. Um. Let me. Like I said, I'm just trying to keep these guys alive. slow. Alright, um, we're getting down to it. And yes, if, if I was, uh, you know, a destruction master or something like that, this would be much more exciting. I'd be throwing men out there to just kill people left and right. But uh, it's, it's not the way I play as a general rule. And so like I said, for these tutorials, it was just a lot easier for me to, to play what I play. I I use the military units a lot. I mean, everybody does, obviously, but I'm, I'm saying I actually use my units to uh, to do the, the damage dealing, and then I keep them alive. Um, all right, yeah, these guys are done. I guess it was over, obviously. As soon as it came to melee, they were done for. So... This guy still haven't healed up well enough. Okay. Charge them. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, yeah. All right. And actually, let's see here. I was hoping to get a second unit again, but I didn't. Uh, let's see. No, I don't even have the eight mana. I'm down that low. Okay, that's fine. Uh, let's see. Luck be a lady. And I apologize for the singing. Ha! Thirteen, exactly. Okay, so got a lot of fame, a lot of, uh, mana from that. Um, gained a fair amount of experience. You know, my catapult gained a level, obviously. Here's the important thing about taking the cities, okay? We can't, can't, we've conquered the settlement. We can uh, raise it to the ground or take it. We're going to take it. Uh, I never raise them. You, you get, you know, a, a, a sort of loot bonus if you do. But taking cities adds them to your empire, okay? Uh, you know, you do generally tear up the cities as you're taking them to a certain extent. But if you look, we just captured a very complete town. Um, we can train some very impressive units already, okay? Um, and of course, it's ready. We can, you know, let's let's rebuild that granary. All right, uh, this has kind of run long. Um, and th this is basically it for, uh, you know, our getting started tutorial. Uh, to win the game, uh, you will have to knock out every other sorcerer lord, take every city they've got, uh, slaughter all their soldiers, or uh, cast the spell of domination, which is the ultimate spell that you can you can research near the the end game. Um, that's you know this is a 4x game. You explore, which we've shown you. You expand, which we've shown you. You exploit, uh, you know, taking advantage of both your enemies and the natural resources around, which we've showed you. And finally, you exterminate, which we've shown you the start of. Uh, you know, you've got to destroy all your enemies or cast the spell of domination. And that's it, guys. That's the basic getting started. There's a whole lot to the game. Uh, we just can't go completely through it in, a, in you know, a getting started tutorial like this. Um, this has already been quite a bit of video. And this is just the start of the game. Okay, this is just the very beginning. There is so much to see and explore and experience. Um, it's really just, this, this is just a taste. If you like what you've seen, you're going to like the game. But there is a lot more to it than I've been able to show you here. In any event, I hope that you enjoy it. And I sincerely hope that you'll uh, pick up a copy of the game and, and join us uh, in Conquering the Plains. So, thank you all and talk to you later.